Today, I'm going to teach you how to create a day to night transition in Final Cut Pro using this shot of a hiker from Envato Elements, who just so happens to be the sponsor of today's video, but more about Envato in a bit. To create a day to night transition, we need to create the before and after clips, the day and night clips. So let's duplicate this clip. I'll use Alt and drag just to create a copy of that clip. And then I'm going to hide this top clip with the shortcut V. I'll select this bottom clip, which will end up being my day clip. And I'll head over to my color wheels here. And what I'm going to do is use the temperature slider to just warm this clip up. And I'm going to put some orange in the highlights something like that, and I might just saturate those a little bit just to give the shot more of a daylight feel. This was before and this is after, so just a little bit warmer. Then I'll go ahead and I'll hit Alt G to create a compound clip and I'll call this day. And I'll hit V again on this top clip to enable it. I'll head over to my effects browser and in the look section, you'll find this day into night plugin. So I'll just drop that onto this top clip. It looks okay, but we can make this look a lot better. So I'll head over to the effect parameters and I'm going to turn this match iMovie off and I'm going to bump up this protect skin slider just a little bit so that we get some of this orange color back in the rocks. And then I'm going to drop the brightness a little bit just to darken the shot a little more. Next, I'll add a color wheels adjustment and I'm going to pull the shadows over to a light blue color just so it looks a little bit more like nighttime in these rocks over here. And then I'm going to take the highlights and I'll push that to a slightly purple color just so we can get a little bit of a purple hue in the sky, making it look like this is just after dusk. I'll hide this effects browser for now and then I'm going to hit Alt G on this clip and I'll call this night. Now I have my day and night compound clips and I'll double click on night to open this up. I want to add some stars to the sky here. So let's go grab some stars from Envato Elements. If you don't already know about Envato Elements, it's a platform for creators that has over 55 million assets, including stock footage, motion graphics templates, graphic design templates, fonts, photos, sound effects, and so much more. With an Envato Elements account, you get unlimited access to all of these incredible assets. If you'd like to try Envato Elements for yourself, Use the link in the description down below and you'll get 50% off an annual subscription, which gives you access to everything for less than $20 per month. I'll search for Starry Night Sky and I have a ton of options to choose from here. I don't want anything with objects in the foreground or the moon, so I'll keep scrolling along and this looks more like it. Yes, that will work perfectly. I'll download this and drop it on top of my hiker clip. And then I'll just trim that to the end of the clip. Next, I need to duplicate this clip. So I'm going to hold down Alt again and drag and drop a copy of this clip on top of the stars. I'll head back over to my effects browser and then I'll drag and drop the Luma Kia effect onto this top clip. I'm going to use the Luma Kia to isolate this hiker as well as the mountains and the rocks. I'm still going to have to add a draw mask later, but doing it this way means I don't have to draw a mask and keyframe that mask around this hiker. So I'll switch my Luma Kia to matte view so I can see what I'm doing. And I'm going to drop the black levels here until the mountains are mostly black. And I'm going to pull up this highlight section here to try and get a nice clean Luma Key. Something like that looks pretty good. When we use this as an alpha mat, anything that's white will show stars through and anything that's black will hide the stars. The mask doesn't have to be totally perfect in this area. I'm mainly worried about the hiker. So I'll select this hiker clip and the stars and I'll hit Alt G to create a new compound clip and I'll call this stars. I'll double click on that quickly, head back to my Luma key, set this to composite and then I'll head over to my blend mode and I'll set the blend mode to stencil Luma. Now, if we scroll through here, you can see we've got stars in the sky and this area here is totally black. I'll head back to my nighttime compound clip and here I'm going to draw a mask on this layer. So I'll just search for a draw mask and I'll drag and drop that onto the star layer. I'll draw the mask around the rocks and these mountains over here, basically everywhere where I don't want stars. I'll ignore the hiker because that's what the Luma Kia was for to isolate him. And I'll just draw a rough mask around these mountains. And then I can just close off the mask and I'm going to feather it and invert the mask. So now we won't have stars in any of these little areas down here that the Luma Kia didn't key out. To make the stars more prominent, I'll add a color wheels effect 
and I'll boost the brightness of these highlights all the way up and then I'll turn this off and back on again so you can see the difference that that makes. It just makes the stars pop a little bit more. If we scrub through here, you might see that the stars show through on this part of the jacket. You can see them over there. So what I'm going to do is add another draw mask effect and I'm just going to draw a mask around this jacket or at least on the white part of this jacket on the arm. It doesn't have to be perfect because I'm going to invert this and then feather it out. I'll move this draw mask to before my color wheel because I want to make sure that this is masked out before we brighten the stars. And then I'm going to make a keyframe on my control points. I'll hide this effects browser and I'll scrub through this clip, changing the position of this mask just to make sure that no stars ever show up through the white part of the sleeve. I'll sort of jump around the frame, creating a new keyframe in a few spots, and then I'll hit Control V to show my video animation properties, and I'll just jump between these keyframes and adjust this mask where necessary. I'll hit Control V again to hide my animation properties, and now the nighttime scene is done. Let's head back to the main comp, and now I need to create the transition. So I'm going to trim this nighttime clip a bit forward, maybe around there, and I'll hit Command T to add a cross dissolve. I'll select the transition, hit Ctrl D to change the duration, and I'll type 200 to make it two seconds long. Then lastly, I'll change the ease amount to 100, and we're done. If you want to add the scale animation like I did in the intro, you can add an adjustment layer. If you don't have one, I'll link to one in the description down below. I'll just trim that to the length of this clip, and I'll set a keyframe for scale at 100 at the end of the clip, and at the beginning, I'll set the keyframe for the scale to 120. Add some sound effects, and one last time, here is the final effect. I hope you enjoyed this Final Cut Pro tutorial on how to create a day to night transition. If you did, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell so that you don't miss out on future videos, and I'll see you in the next one.